All right, we are in week eight now. It is 6.30 a.m. I have been up the entire night because of the side effects of the hepatitis C treatment. And I am eating my 6.30 a.m. meal so I can take my 7 a.m. Incivec pill. Um, even though my side effects are getting increasingly worse um, and I'm not able to get any sleep at all, which I would say is the worst side effect, um, I got some good news this week. I got uh, the news that I did have a rapid viral response. So the hepatitis C virus is not in my blood anymore. But uh, my nurses and my doctor made it very clear to me not to get too excited because uh, last time I also had a rapid viral response and the hepatitis C came back. So this time it's gonna be very, very important that I complete the full 24 weeks of therapy, no matter how bad the side effect. So I'm not even one third of the way through yet and the side effects are already quite bad. So I'm having my steak and milk, my 3.25% uh, homogenized milk to get the fat into me. I've been having a lot of arguments with my uh, doctors lately because none of these uh, sleep medications seem to be working. My hepatitis C specialist and uh, hepatitis C nurse say they're not sleep specialists. So they uh, don't know the best sleep medicine to prescribe me. And I'm saying, well, you're prescribing me the hep C medication. So you should know what kind of sleep medication would work. But uh, nothing seems to be working. I've been on four different sleep medications since I started this treatment. I'm only in my eight and a half weeks. And uh, we're Wednesday today. And uh, yeah, I'm not getting any sleep. Now they just switched me. I had an emergency meeting with them after having terrible side effects on Sunday and Monday. Really horrible side effects. Um, throwing up um, temper flares out of nowhere. Um, I even got in an argument with someone in a parking lot, um, which is not me at all. I'm a very patient, relaxed person. Um, so now my doctor has actually put me on... Uh, an antidepressant to take in the morning, which uh, is this one here, um, Sandos Clitalopram or whatever. Um, that's supposed to calm my moods and uh, taking another one at night um, that's supposed to help sedate me. Um, unfortunately, it has not been working, but it's only been a few days. So if anyone out there watching that's been through this and has been like me and had trouble sleeping and knows a good uh, sleep medication, please recommend it to me and I'll pass it by my doctors. Um, one thing my doctors did order me to do is take a leave of absence from work until May, until this nightmare is over. They said it's highly important that I finish treatment, eliminate as much stress and anxiety in my life as possible and be able to get rest. Otherwise the treatment will not work. So what they're doing is they're making sure that I'll be able to get the rest of the, the medicine, keeping me off work. Um, I had two jobs, but uh, money um, it's not the most important thing right now, getting cured is, because if I don't get cured, I'm going to need a liver transplant probably in the next five years. And after you get a liver transplant, the average life expect expectancy is only eight years. So I really don't have a choice but to do everything I can but to finish this treatment. So I'm going to stop talking right now and eat this steak in time to take my 7 a.m. Uh, meds. So I'll check back with you when I take my meds. The steak is all finished. I'm just chugging down this olive oil and milk, which is kind of my new staple. Ugh, lovely. Uh, so I'm about to take my ribavirin morning pills and my uh, Insubac morning pills. I'm going to take my ribavirin first. In my video from week four, I believe, I accidentally said I only take three of these at night. 
I actually, I actually take three in the morning and four at night. That is compared to only four pills total a day during my last treatment. So that's, a, that's an increased dose of ribavirin. So those ones go down, I'll let them settle a bit and I will feed Piper because she's been up all night too. She actually just finished a nice walk. Yes, I'm talking about you. Poodles are a very intelligent breed of dogs and she is certainly very intelligent. But unfortunately, one thing we've learned about Piper since I've started treatment is she actually has a liver problem too. So she has unfortunately now had to become a vegan because of her liver issue. It's not hepatitis, it's a genetic liver problem. But apparently if uh, she eats vegan food, it's gonna help. Piper's liver wasn't processing her uh, meat properly and it was actually causing her to be uh, intoxicated and act like she was drunk so uh, that's a bad thing so in order to make sure she lives a nice long life as well we got to make her a vegan my last uh, task of this morning is to take my Insevec tablets. So I guess it truly is a miracle drug if it cures me for good, but it's a good start that I've had a rapid viral response. And the last thing I'm gonna do, because one of the side effects of hep C treatment is it affects your memory, is I've started actually marking down what pills I take and when I take them. So Insevec is pink and uh, ribavirin is green. So I took my ribavirin pill and I took my Insevec pill. So I take my next Insevec at three o'clock. I hope to God that I'm able to have a nap between now and then but I'm not counting on it. It seems like I'll spend two or three days awake, then I'll crash, I'll be able to sleep, and then I gotta get up, eat the meal, take the pills, then I'm kind of up on the go again. Sometimes I get back to sleep, other times I don't, other times I have to work. Now luckily, at least I won't have to work. I'll have a bit more money stress, but in all reality, the most important thing to me is my health. As Brent said in the video from week six, uh, he's a hep C survivor and his advice was if you need, uh, if there's one thing you can do, it's take the time off work and rest, make sure this medication works. So I will see you in week nine, hopefully I'll still be in good spirits.